Hey everybody, this is Lanny the Outcast. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. Uh, I know I said I was going to be meeting you guys back in Sindane in this part, but uh, between episodes I did some stuff off screen, such as uh, getting the sword that Melaine gave us to its, uh, to its um, third tier build up to give it to her, and I also caught a 60 centimeter, uh, centimeter Nanki, so you can talk to Fabio and show it to him. Oh, I underestimated you. Well, I'm a man. Men don't need to be told twice. I'll listen to what you say, as I promised. Talk as much as you like. And Fabio joins the party. Alright, you guys will excuse me, I'll meet you guys at Mulane's weapon shop. Alright, once you get in here, just switch to Monica. And uh, what I built it up to, you can build it up into either a chopper or a sandbreaker. I opted for the chopper. So, since it's a higher tier, I can actually use it for a sense sphere later on. Be my friend! Wow, that's a pretty impressive sword. Sorry I had to test you. It's just that if I fight with an amateur, it's dangerous for me, too. But I guess I needn't worry about that with you. Right, let's go fight together. And Melaine joins the party! Alright, that's all of the Giorama characters we can actually recruit, so let's head to Sunday. Yeah, sure, let's go to actual... Let's actually go somewhere. Alright, now we can start the Giorama, but before I do that, there's a couple of things I want to discuss. Uh, while I was doing all that stuff off-screen, uh, I picked up a few items, uh, namely off screen, I, b I went to uh, Morton's Sundries and purchased the Monster Notes, which uh, is like a bestiary, you can just open it up and see various information on all kinds of monsters. You can purchase it from uh, Morton Sundries for 1,000 Gilda. Uh, let's see, I got this cheese, premium chicken, and all of these other recovery items from various NPCs you can recruit, namely uh, Granny Rosa. Uh, Ferdinand and Priest Bruno, respectively. Got some stamina drinks while I was training my, uh, training Monica's weapons. Uh, when I was exploring the dungeons, I actually came across a wealth coin and a dark coin and a treasure chest. I'll be saving the dark coin for later. And the wealth coin I'm actually planning on using right now, because I managed to get Monica's weapons to, to the point where they're ready to build up next for Chapter 2. So, let's go ahead and get her Chapter 2 build-ups. Alright. Uh, to get the broadsword up to the sacks, you need to have. You need to have 29 attack, 27 cyclone, 19 exorcism, 27 beast, and 9 scale. So let's build it up into the sacks. And now we have the sacks. Nice. Now we can build up her bandit brassard. I'm going to go with the thorn armlet. Uh, to build up the bandit brassard into the thorn armlet, you need 32 attack and 28 cyclone. So let's go ahead and build this up. Alright, thorn armlet was built up. Now you'll notice we actually got two abilities with this one. Uh, we got, we already had steel from the bandit brassard, but now we have ABS up or experience boost which is the uh, blue one on the right. And then that gray one with the box on the left is Poverty. Basically what this armlet does is you get increased experience but reduced money. What's nice about this is that I can spectrumize this wealth coin, which I found this by pure luck, by the way. There's no way you can actually find these like in a shop or something. I just got lucky. And I can put the uh, wealth coin on the thorn armlet. And that cancels out poverty. So now I still receive normal amounts of money while still getting boosted ABS for the um, for the thorn armlet itself. But anyway, let's actually start with the Giorama here. Let's see. What do we need to do first? Forest Lake. Like I said in the pre in a previous episode, you want to try and do these one at a time, so that way you can take full advantage of the item spawning. So let's go ahead and let's actually check. Uh, let's actually go and check Jurak's place first, just to see if anything spawned there. If you want to go to the future, just walk into the time gate and press X. Alright, 
right, in the future, I'll just be cutting that out. Now, let's see. Ah, I already see some boxes. Let's see. Potato pie. Awesome. You want to look everywhere for these items, by the way. They're fairly noticeable here if you're looking for them, but there's going to be some later in uh, later areas that are actually really hard to see. You want to keep your eyes open. So far, I only see three. Oh, no, there's four. Which parfait for the Yes, all right, so that should be a potato pie, two, witch, uh, two fruits of Eden, and a witch parfait. A witch parfait is Monica's defense item, that raises her defense by four. Now, there's multiple ways you can go about the game in terms of stat distribution. You can either focus on one character, or you can focus on them both equally. I personally think balance is power, even though Max should technically be, technically be the more powerful of the two, since you actually use him more often than Monica in terms of actual gameplay, but I prefer to balance the two out. So, we'll just give one fruit to Max, and one fruit to Monica. Alright. Should be everything here, so let's go back and actually start building the town. Alright, first condition we need to meet is the Forest Lake. In order to get that back, we need to place down 15 river parts. Let's see. River, 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 river. Where is it? River. Here we go. Okay, good. I have enough. Alright. Let's see. How do I want to place these? Um, I think what I'll do is... Let's see. Doesn't always off one. Okay, so clean up from that one. Do I still have a few more? I do. Let's see. do I have? Alright, that was the last one. So, let's see. Let's rearrange it like so. There's no specific order that you actually have to put these things in. You have complete rain over how you want the town to look, unlike Dark Cloud 1, where there's actually some sort of pattern you have to follow. So, you can be as creative as you like with building your town. Alright, so that should do it. Yes. Okay. That should be Forest Lake restored. Yes. Alright. Now if you drop down, there has been a change in the future. Whenever you get that message, it usually means... Obviously, something has changed, and boxes may or may not show up. This is one of the main reasons why I, com I completely cleared the dungeon first, because items that pop up, they pop up based on A, the condition you complete, and B, how far you've actually walked in the dungeon. So, since by clearing out all the floors we have access to, we'll have access to all the items as they spawn. So, let's see. Anything here? Does it look like it? Okay, so nothing spawned this time. Alright. What's the next thing we need to do? Okay, Glowing Mushroom is Elder Jurak Revived, so we'll worry about that later. Uh, let's see. Withered Tree Restored. Nose Tree Between Eye Trees. Nose and Eye Trees Near River. Alright, I hope the river has enough space. Let's see. Eye Tree... So let's 
put down, I might have to move that river piece. But, uh, hmm. Put an eye tree here. Let's put yeah, I'm gonna have to move that river piece. So let's move, let's put the nose tree down. Yeah, definitely got to move that river piece. Okay, let's clean up and replace the river piece here, just so it looks. Like I tree two to go here. There we go. And actually, just to make things look good. I'll put that there for now. I'll probably add more later. But uh alright. That should be the withered tree. Yes, withered tree restored. Now that the withered tree is restored, let's go check the future and see if there's any items there. There's been a change in the future. Alright, if I'll uh, if there's no items, I'll just cut back to here. If there is items, I'll show you where they are. Let's see. Any items? Ah! Fruit Eden. Alright, cool, cool. Let's see, that's one. Any more boxes around? Ah oh, yes, there's two more right here. What do we got? Fruit Eden? Which parfait? Let me see the potato pie hidden around here somewhere. Aha! Potato pie! Alright, is there anything else? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and split these then. Yeah, 1664, we're doing good. What's the next condition we need to meet here? Elder Jurak revived. Gordon resides in Sindane. Alright. Let's see. Then we want to make a house for him. Let's see. Can we make a straw house? We should be able to. Ah, no. We're short some bundles of hay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you where to get materials. So let's go ahead and drop down. And we're short on materials, so we're going to want to move to the station. Alright, now you want to head to the very back car. And talk to Kanda. You need some more Giorama elements? If you don't have the time to collect them yourself, maybe some money can solve your problems. whatever you need here. So we need nine of these. Let's go ahead and get ten. Alright. Uh, I'll meet you guys back in Sindane and continue this in the next episode. I'm Light of the Outcast and I'll see you guys later.